Hey, shut up back there, all right? Have a little respect for the dead. My name is Fisher Stevens, and this is the story of my last day. Uh, what was that for? I thought you were a burglar. At 10.30 in the uh, morning? What do you want, Cynthia? I, I found something in the paper. A dead body for sale. What? How much? Shut you never, your mouth. You never pay attention, and you're gonna miss it. Here's the place. Ah! Oh. I don't think you can park here. I don't see a fire hydrant anywhere, Cynthia. There you go. Yes, may I help you? Yeah, you advertised the dead body in the paper, correct? Yeah, well, I did, but I just sold it. Um, my nephew is loading it into the truck for the folks who bought it. Oh, man, they folded it up. Do you have any more? What? I am not a pervert. How dare you? What? I didn't call you a... Really, Fisher? Hey. Hey. Yeah. I need that corpse pronto. Pronto? You mean pronto. What the hell is going on here, Benji? This couple wants the corpse we just purchased, honey. What? Just tell them no. God, you're such a baby. We'll pay more. Sh Shut up. Shut up, Cynthia. God, you're a barger. Just barge right in. I hate barges. That's not really a word. Oh, look, we got another barger over here. Take your fish. Oh, thank you. His name's Roger. Hi, oh, Roger. look, he likes you too. Yes. Why do you even want the corpse? Planning on a little rumpy pumpy? What? Probably not. It's for getting to work, you know, HOV lanes. Uh, you said we were gonna use it as a mannequin. Oh, come on, Cynthia, I lied. Did you forget I do that? This is a birthday present for our daughter, so the answer is no. Fine, your loss. Actually, that's your loss. Yeah, Fisher, they didn't really lose anything. Get the fuck <laughs> off me. I need that dead body. What? I'll let it go. It's too early. Cynthia, there's no time for being too early. That doesn't even make any sense. Just get dressed, okay? Oh. Let's try that one. You gotta miss it. Here's the place. Ah! Oh. oh, hey, real quick, you're probably asking yourself, how does he know where they live? Well, it's a plot hole, okay? So just deal with it. What are you doing here? Look, I need this dead body, all right? It's not gonna take me 15 minutes to get to work anymore. You hear me? Who the hell is at the door? It's, it's the couple that wanted the body. Benji, use your big boy voice and tell the twats to sort off. I got a different idea. Whoa, whoa, there's no need for guns, man. Where'd you get a gun? What? eBay? I got these pants off eBay too. Pretty slick, right? Oh my god! You shot my wife! No, I didn't. This gun is just all messed up. I mean... <gasps> I sure don't make it like you do. Give me that! You obviously have no idea how to handle a fire... Dude, I think she's dead. <laughs> Okay, so admittedly that was messed up. But anyways, we're running out of time, so let me just wrap this up for you real quick. I offered to buy Ben's dead wife. You know, because it's fresher, and because it's not folded in a trunk. He agrees, shakes my hand, and even hands me back the gun. And I, well... Accidentally. Yep, so that's how it ended. But I got a new job. I haunt. I'm a haunter, so, you know, that's pretty cool. No commuting there. Uh, oh, and if you're wondering about Cynthia, her and Ben sort of hooked up, but seriously, could she do any better than me? That's it, you guys. I'm going to come haunt the shit out of you now. Ooh. That's about all I can do so far.